to play Vegas. I don't want a middle back. There's no tipping in front of the tempo line. Everybody remember how to play? Yes. All right, get set up. So this is Vegas. We uh, play games while well, adding up to seven. So four, three, five, two. Once the score adds up to seven, for the eighth point, whoever's ahead, they get to choose if they're going to keep their points or if they want to double down. If they keep their points and they win the point and say they're at five, they keep five and the other team goes to zero. If they double down, they get 10 if they win the point and the other team goes down to zero. And it's the first to 21. So the score is 4-3. So they're going to choose keep or double down, and they chose keep. If they were to lose, choose double down and lose, they go back to zero. And they chose keep. So now we start a new game to seven. Or adding up to seven. So each mini game on the scoreboard, we start back at zero zero. And then on the whiteboard, we have the manager or assistant uh, keep track of the total score. So again, it's the first to 21. Alana, drop that hand in. Alana, drop that hand in. On the block, yeah. Cheyenne, you should be doubling there. Franny, what'd you see? Hit high. You scored there in the out of system game. So this team is choosing keep. You lost. No tip in front of the tempo line. Oh, they won, so they get four. So we start our new game to seven, but it's overall it's four zero. Good, Taryn. So it's 5 2. What'd they choose, Heather? What'd they choose? So they're choosing keep here. They got to win this point to keep their points. So they have five. Now the score overall is 5 4. So they just doubled their points. 
Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna have this new policy since uh, you guys, for the most part, are gonna keep saying keep. We gotta put some pressure on. So, in a game to 21, you have to have two double downs. So you use one, you have to have one more, you guys need two. Okay, okay let's go. Can we have more? <laughs> hey, you can do more. Okay, so they won this game over here from it's 4 3. They're going to choose the double down. They've got to win this point to get eight points. And if they lose, they go to zero. And the other side gets the points they have. So this side gets eight and they win because they have 21 overall. And the other side, um, I think we're at eight total. Okay. So the good thing with the coaches having control is you can do different ways of entering in the ball, whether that's a joust or an overpass, maybe it's out of the net, whatever you feel like based off of the weekend or on your personnel, what you need to work on. So sometimes we chip, sometimes we add some different elements. If, if service eve is something we need to work on, then normally we'll just play this game with serve and service eve. It's a good way to get a lot of repetition and, again, putting some pressure on. This game moves a little bit faster if we do it that way. So it's 5-2. They're choosing to double. She's going to let him serve. So if they win the double, they get 10. If they lose the double, they get 0. So they have 10. It's 10-0. Ten if this side were to have 1, then they get to keep their 2 points. Cheyenne, that's you. Let's go block. You're letting her go past. Katie, you have to help. Okay, so it's 4-3. They're choosing a double. This time she's going to down ball to them rather than letting them serve. So this side wins. They get three points, and the other side gets zero. They still keep their original points, though, so the overall score is 10-3. to three. It's a good opportunity. They need the points. They only have three overall. So because they doubled, they keep their points. They only need three, so they have three points. So they got their 21.